You just think type plot! But, 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 this is our world still. Wait! Credit? No, what do you, no, 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 what do you mean? Welcome back to, actually, welcome to a new series of anime we're gonna start reacting to. This is called Kage no Jitsu Ryokushan in the eminence in the shadows. I like to say the Japanese name sometimes because it sounds cool. Like, for example, Attack on Titan versus Shingeki no Kyojin. But I can't really pronounce Japanese because I'm not Japanese. And the only Japanese I know is from fucking watching anime because I'm a weeb. New anime. I know nothing about the series. It's the beginning of a new seasonal anime season. So I, I heard some good things about it. Again, I know nothing. Blind reaction. Let's get right into it. I thought that this was gonna be like an isekai show. I mean, uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, 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 I thought it was an isekai show, but so... I mean, you gotta die to get isekai right? Nobody's home. Lives alone. High school students. Just like every fucking <laughs> setting for <laughs> anime. Huh? Paparazzi? No. Ojo-san. Okay, she's a super princess. Everybody's just looking. <gasps> Okay, has a bright, positive image for the masses, Nishino. But I wonder if that's how she really feels that way. Hmm? Uh, he doesn't say hello. Oh, she hates him, okay. Why, because he didn't greet you or... Kageno. So, below average, okay, below average, dude. Just ordinary guy, you know why? So that you guys can relate to him as we feel as the main character, someone that's relatable. <laughs> Completely average, but the looks are pretty good though, usually. Nishina. Oh, we got the name wrong. Wait, he just doesn't give a shit about her. Like, she's supposed to be like super like important person here, but he just got her name wrong. It's Nishina. Right? Uh, uh, who are you again? Giga Chad, Giga Chad. <laughs> the names and he's a named NPC. Wait, wait, wait. So this guy is the true main character, and she's like an important NPC in this game or in this realm that he's somehow in. Huh? So to him, it's like, why is this random NPC talking to me? It's Nishita. Nishina, right? Nishino, <laughs> I got it wrong too. I got it wrong too. Nishino, Nishino. The moment he said named NPC, she just got really like interesting. I want to see the anime from the perspective of his lens, cause he's seeing you guys as NPCs, meaning you guys are just the games. You're just, just like this is like an isekai for him. You know, in this world, I, I, it's modern day Japan. So she's like a super idol then. Mm. Big movie star, I don't know. He doesn't care though. Oh, we sit right beside her, of course! And the main character seat in every classroom, right by the window, baby! Looking out! Huh? <laughs> he's, he's flexing grip strength? What? <laughs> 20,000 reps? <laughs> what is this guy doing? Nuclear, the living of all things. Magic circles? This is like German, I think. More. Japanese English. English. Is this Beethoven Moonlight Sonata? Or is our main character the dude playing it? <laughs> what the fuck is going on, dude? <laughs> this is so <laughs> unnecessarily dramatic. <laughs> I love it, though. This has been really like, it's only been like six minutes, but. Yo, it's been hitting. I have no idea what's going on though. It really feels like he's the isekai protagonist. Somehow in modern day Japan, he sees everyone as NPCs. He's doing group strength training. He's like reading incantation books for more power. But this is not a fantasy world, it seems like. It seems like this is just regular school setting. Uh, She might be in danger. Does he know that she's in danger? Is he going to save her? And she falls in love. Oh my god, I can't believe you saved me. And he's like, I don't care you're named NPC. <laughs> NPC or stalk? I mean, sorry, our main character or stalker? Where? Behind you now. Behind you now! You fool, you fell for it! So is our main character around? The guy? Where are you? 
He seemed like he had an idea what was happening when he was looking down. There he is. How did he know? Why would he know? Hmm. Blank expression, but next time you open your eyes, you're gonna be just in a safe location, right? And he's. Unless he's in it with them. <laughs> Unless he's actually in it with them? Outsider. Wait, what? Whoa, I'm. Wait, 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 wait. He didn't say. The, the conversation at the end sounded like he was orchestrating, maybe. I, okay, let's keep going. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So when you're saying, don't talk to me, outsider, they were bickering together like that. I thought that the outsider was referring to this guy, and I'm like, wait, our seemingly main character is orchestrating the kidnapping? But no, he's about to flex his 20,000, you know, grip strength repetition power. Let's see. <laughs> Bitch. I mean, I'm, the bitch was not right towards him. Her. It was to him. I'm, no, relax. Uh, <laughs> he's not even trying to hide it, huh? <laughs> he always has that bag with him. What's in that bag? He always has that duffel bag. And he just, you know, even at the first first step, uh, first time we saw him at school, he just like threw the duffel bag uh, at his like locker. What's in it? Are we done? Did he already win? No, no, no. All right, let's see how he fights. I'm the stylish ruffian. Oh, vigilante mode with a mask on. Stylish ruffian. RSR. RS. FRS. Okay, he's playing Batman. Oh, wait, was that? he threw a sword of glass? This is how you should fight. You know, not striking, but immediately take down into a curb stomp. But they got guns. Throw another glass. No, barehanded fight. Oh, this guy respects the sanctity of a duel. Okay. Okay, military man versus high school student that can do 20,000 grip strength repetition. repetition. Oh, he still got a knife though. What is, yo, what are you... You're gonna drop the gun, but you still have a knife? Really? <laughs> it is Tonfa. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where? I, okay, I, I mean... I, sure, he's been training in the... While you guys were busy partying, he was training the art of the Tonfa, I guess. No? Tosses. Oh, wait. Reverse grip. Ah! Potential crew part. But I don't have to use it as a Tonfa, though. I can just use it as a crew part instead. <laughs> just a regular club. I mean, it's a very. Oh, that's his legs. Oh, that's his knees gone. Potential of a crowbar. <laughs> so ridiculous. I love how he's just going, he's going so detailed into what a crowbar is. It's so ridiculous. Really, you think he's going to kill you? Come on now. Also, his voice, he's not trying to hide it like Batman. So you should recognize this. He's already gone. And therefore, he is the eminence in the shadows. He's the type plot! But, 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 this is our world still. Wait! Credit? No, what do you- no, 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 what do you mean? post credit scene? Huh? Why is he a kid? Wait, 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 but we just had- What is going on? You just got Isekata, but I thought you were already an Isekai character because you called her an NPC, but... Were you just role-playing as an NPC, like an Isekai character? <laughs> well, you guys are partying and socializing. I was studying the art of the blade. Yo, I, I, this, this is, I, I don't know what's going on anymore. What's, and then what? What are we doing right now? Why are we asking these ridiculous questions? Yeah, if a new kid said none of it matters, what should you do then? You, should you make your own nukes to fucking compete with other people with nukes? What kind of existential crisis are we talking about right now? What? The truck hit. That was the sound of the truck. And then what? So how do you surpass a nuke? It's just to get isekai Okay, now we're really isekai Seems like we're some kind of an European 
place with birds. Okay, okay. So it is an isekai after all. It's just, I was so baited in the beginning when he said, name the NPC. He was just role playing, dude. <laughs> what a, what a bait. What a bait, dude. I can't believe the show. What the f <laughs> Okay. Seems like we have like a harem of furries. <laughs> also, we got a twin tail, of course. My lord. So he is the eminence in the shadow. Did he know that he could get isekai <laughs> This soundtrack is sick, the animation is sick, the story is ridiculous. Now it's kind of becoming what it seems like a generic uh, isekai, but it's not generic because of what led to here. I, this is so ridiculous. This, this, this is, this is so ridiculous. I don't think I've ever been baited this hard in an anime. Now I'm pretty sure I've had, but it's been a long time since I've been baited this hard. The reason why I got baited so hard is because how he referred to other, that girl, you know, Nishino saying, Ah, oh, you're a named NPC. So I'm like, are you a Isekai character in modern day Japan? No. He was just role playing and getting prepared for the moment that he gets Isekai. Why? So that he can surpass a nuclear weapon. Does the logic make sense? Kinda? It's ridiculous, but hey, it's gotten my attention and what a what a ridiculous but fun episode. Now we're in this completely new Isekai world. I wonder how he knew that if he got hit by a truck, he get Isekai, but hey. We've seen so many anime where it all starts with Trot Kun, so I guess it makes sense. But if you stick around this long, and if you didn't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps YouTube Bakugo push out my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.